Thousands of acres were burned and hundreds of cattle killed in devastating wildfires a couple of weeks ago in western Oklahoma. News Force Tanner DeLeon went out to near ground zero for this. He was able to talk to a couple of Oklahoma ranchers hit very hard by the wildfire and how they've been recovering. What did you find out, Tanner? Well, both men were at a loss for words, but not at a loss in faith after their land was charred to the root. But thanks to the help from around the state, they are moving forward. It's overwhelming. Overwhelming is an understatement after losing nearly everything they put their blood, sweat and tears into. We operate on about 8,500 acres of grass. We're a cow calf producer and we lost 7,500 acres of grass. And uh, at the time we had 450 head of cattle and we lost approximately, we buried 70 head of those. Several thousand acres of our land here in Northern Ellis County that went through we're estimating 35 miles of fence. Neighboring ranchers with similar destruction, nothing left but ashes and dead cattle covering the land. It's been a, a process of, of finding the dead ones and burying them and finding the survivors and, and making determinations on their health and what they needed and ultimately moving them out of the burn area to get them some grass. Moyer says they had about an hour to save what they could and move the cattle as best as possible before the fire was in their backyard. So we stayed here just as long as we could. We were moving cattle and putting sprinklers up and trying to just minimize the, the fire risk of this house as much as we could. But the time came when they had to evacuate, not knowing if they would come back to a house up in flames or still intact. Got to a point where you could feel the heat, you could see the flames, and it was just just turned black with uh, the soot and the dirt and the smoke that came in here. And you know, it's at that point like there is no reason to stick it, stick around here. We'd done all we could. Thankfully, fire crews arrived and helped keep the fire away from their house. But just down the road, one family wasn't as lucky. It was a tear choking phone call to them when we uh, described the, 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 what was left and what wasn't left. After wildfires ravaged through western parts of Oklahoma, this is all that was left. Ashes blowing through the wind, but not even a week later and donations to help started coming in. This is all our donated hay that came in uh, days, if not hours after the fire. Hay bales, feed and other supplies began to arrive within days to help those who lost so much. Just a great outpouring of, of love and support. Uh, we've had a lot of donations coming from Kansas, from Oklahoma, Texas, uh, truckload after truckload. Moyer says ranchers are a prideful group. They don't like asking for help and feel guilty when they receive it. It's a little uncomfortable taking donations. We're we're a, a pretty independent group out here, and it's a little bit hard to to. to to accept that. The path to regain what was lost is not an easy one, but going through it with people by your side eases the burden. Just are thankful for the support you have and just, just how caring other people are. Um, that's, a, that's the part we need to take away from this, and that is there'll be that opportunity where we can turn around and, and help somebody else out, whether it's a wildfire or, or what. But uh, the, we're on our way to recovery. Now, Kenneth, his brother Cliff and Caleb want to say thank you to everyone who has donated supplies to them. And they say as long as another wildfire doesn't break out by this time next year, they will be back to normal.